see if it starts again. Have we got it going again? There you go. So I think we're back on track. So um, yeah, there are too many, uh, Jim, if you're watching at home, you, there are too many uh, little buttons popping up and I need them to be gone so I can concentrate. Um, here we go again, happy Monday. I think we're all on track though. And um, I think, yes, it looks like we're back on track and it's 10 o'clock exactly. So there you go. Good morning. And, uh, and I hope that everything is, is good with you. How are you? How was your weekend? Where are you? Uh, as I said earlier, the sun was shining here in, in, in the southeast of England. We had a really lovely weekend and we stayed in the garden. And uh, I did pick some orders on Saturday. I was alone in the, in the office for a few hours, um, sending out all those postcards that you, you've uh, kindly ordered. And um, so, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a, a really lovely weekend. And as I was saying, it was a real pleasure to see all of those wonderful doodles um, that you, you posted on, on Groovy Worldwide and, and Clarity Worldwide, you know, the happy doodles that we did on Friday. Uh, fantastic, beautiful samples. And uh, so, as I say, I'm very, very glad um, that these doodle sessions that we do every morning at 10 o'clock, Monday to Friday, are of a benefit to you. Um, and so today, I thought we'd start the week slowly and learn a couple more tricks. Uh, I'll show you a couple of little tips. Because Friday was a, a, a mammoth job, wasn't it? So what we can't be doing is ramping it up and ramping it up and ramping it up because in the end, it won't be relaxing anymore. Certainly not for me and probably not for you. I think the thing about the doodling is that it, it clears the mind, doesn't it? That's what we're doing it for to clear the mind, just stop worrying about everything that's going on at the moment in the big wide world. And just for half an hour, just calm it, calm it. I also think that day on day, because a lot of us doing this are crafters, aren't we? Good morning, everybody. And uh, welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. Um, the thing about us crafters is now we're all on lockdown for weeks on end. We would really like to learn a few tricks and tips. And so the doodling, it's a twofold uh, thing here. One, it relaxes us and it calms us and it gets us all together and it gives us a reason to get up and get dressed and be ready with our pen and paper at 10 o'clock in the morning. It certainly does that for me. Um, but then also we're learning tricks, aren't we? One of the things that was really, really interesting was I was listening and I was reading with interest how a lot of people said, when I, when I saw the one on Friday, I never thought I'd be able to do it. And now I can look. And when I saw the doodle on Thursday, I never thought I'd be able to do it, but then I could. So, so again, you know, you don't know till you try, do you? So today, I thought we'd have a little recap. Let's have a, let's have a look at where we went and where we're going, shall we? So if we, if we have a look here, you'll see that last week we did these little birds. This is a week ago, this was what we did. Then we moved on to the tree. So we incorporated the birds into the tree. Then we did three big trees and a landscape. We figured out how to do little bunny rabbits. And it looks like a piece of cake now, didn't it? And this, <clears throat> this doodle, this uh, checker doodle is a, a real lifesaver. If you're having a rough day, just draw two lines and just keep going black, white, black, white, black, white. It really clears the head beautifully. Then we did that lovely, um, the banner, didn't we? The scroll and the different flowers there. And then we did the happy and we, we learned how to shade and we, we wove um our things through there and and so and so i've got something that i want to show you now right let's have a look this is where we want to go today now it looks very simple and it is monday morning monday monday but i thought today i would rather have a look i'd like to have a look at birds on the side you see now the birds that we did before when you think about it right Hang on, let me just get a bit of copy paper 
the birds that we did before, they were on the back, weren't they? Do you remember? So you do the heart and then you colour it in. Okay. So when you do this though, you're looking at the back of the bird really, aren't you? So when you give it a little head like that and a beak and a tail, it's lovely, but you're looking at it from behind. So I thought, same with the flowers. This is what we did last week. We did loads of flowers. Like, do you remember the Mary Quant ones? These were cool, like that. But again, it's all on the front, isn't it? It's, it's, it's looking at the images or the, the, the things from, from the front on. So I thought, well, what about if we try some flowers? Now, have a look now. If you, and now you'll see my, hang on, if we go to this one. If we have a look here, what you'll see is what I, what I wanted to try today is a couple of different things. First of all, a couple of little birds on the side, right? And then have a look at the flowers, the new flowers. I thought we'd add a couple of little flowers to our, our, um, our little toolbox as well. So we've got different flowers now. See the little flowers hanging off? They're like little... See on the sides, they're, they're just a, a, a modest version, but they're all on the side now. I did a couple of front ones to show you a contrast, but I thought today that's what we would do because I've got something. Let me come in to number one. I've got something really lovely lined up for tomorrow. But when I looked at it, I, I prepared it yesterday. And then when I looked at it, I thought, that's a bit strong. If we start on Monday like that, then, you know, We'll be doing three hour sessions by Friday. <laughs> so, so let's start and let's just, the birds are not as easy as they look. So my suggestion is that we try with a pencil first. Should we just get the shape right? And, uh, and let's have a look because the bird, if we just, let's go over here and let's just try the bird first. I'll give you a, a clue. If you write a D like that, and then you do a little wobble on the side. It's a D, you see? And then if you do a, a tail and a beak, that's it. Now, if you want your bird to be a little bit more not looking up at the sky, right, then you've just got to put the tail of the D a little bit further that way, like so. This one's going to have a crest, you see, and then look, you see? Let's try a few of these first. So you can decide whether he's got a crest by doing that or whether he's rounder. Let me come to this camera and let's have another look at this. Let's see if we can see this better like that. Look, you see, really easy. So what we're going to do, you see, is I found it easier to do that. Now I'm doing it upside down. Now I'm really showing off. I found it easier to do that bit first and then come down like that and finish the D like so. See, I do a little wobble because that's where his head is. I'm doing this upside down now, so good know. don't know what it's going to look like. There you go. And then we just give it a little tail. Right. There you go. Not bad for an upside down bird. And then when you've done one face in that way, try giving him a partner. So then you go in sideways again, then you come down like that. So you've, you're doing a D shape basically. And then your bird's beak is about parallel with the, see? So once you've got the bird in, it's quite nice really. Now his feet, let me show you something with his feet. So I, I mean, I only taught myself this yesterday. I'm not a bird expert, right? But what I noticed was with the feet, that if you, this is quite interesting, if you bring them down straight like that, it look a bit strange. If you come in at an angle like that, you watch. It looks exactly right. Let me turn it around so you can see it. Cool, he's got big feet. But you see how I'm coming in at an angle? So for example, on this one here, or upside down. So instead of going straight down, I'm going to come in like that. You see? And then when I give him feet, co upside down is really challenging, Gray. So you're going to do just like two to the front and a little flick at the back. 
So once we've cracked the little bird, how are you doing? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We're already in full throttle here with our little birds. There you go. How are you doing? Um, and we're, do we're using a pencil because I honestly, I, the whole idea of this is to, um, is to enjoy it and have some fun. And it's not a competition and we're not being judged and there's nobody breathing over your shoulder. It's not an exam. You're not going to get graded. This is just you figuring out how to draw a little bird on the side. And then you could spend the whole day drawing little birds until they look like birds that you really like, you see? Because you know how it is. You draw it and you go, oh, I don't know, it looks more like a kidney bean with a beak. I had quite a few of those yesterday. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it, you know? And, uh, and eventually I figured out that if you draw a D, it's, a, it's a, like a, a surefire way of getting a cool, a cool shape. And then the more you do it, what you'll find is the more of these you do, the better at them you'll get. So, how are your birds? Let me just have a little check. Sorry, I've got to lean across. I can't see. Oh, they're still waking up and drinking coffee. Good morning, everybody. Come on. Is anybody drawing birds yet? Has anybody got their birds going? I think once, you, once you've cracked this, it'll be easy. So what I would suggest, though, is that we do this with a pencil and then we go back over it because it, yeah, let's do it with a pencil. And then if you don't like something, you can always erase it, can't you? It's not so permanent. And then I think that's not a bad idea. What do you think? So let's have a look. I've got my little birds there just to check. Look, you can make them, you can give them really long legs as well. Look, hang on. There you go. Look, I've given these ones really long legs. Then I tried colouring them in. That one was a little bit of a hodgepodge. Um, so we've got our birds. Then we're going to put the... Right, so let's do two birds and then we'll come down and then I'll show you how to do these flowers as well. Right, you ready? Birds first. Actually, I think I'll start... Because I've got plenty of birds over there, but I'm going to run out of space. So I'll take another piece of copy paper. That's my practice sheet. Right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, first of all, a bird here like that, yeah, and then another one there. Let's do the birds first. So forgive my head if it's in the way. I'm going to turn this round and I'm going to draw a D. That's the first one. That one too hard, was it? Right, and then I'm going to pop that eye in. Excuse my head. And then I'm going to do the beak. And then I think I'll put a tail in. Then I'll put another one up here, maybe a little bit bigger. Right, another D coming in. Okay. Oh, this one looks a little bit stern. Right, here we go. Ah, oh, he's got a fringe. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a little bit of a, a fringe. <laughs> he obviously, he's been uh, in lockdown for a couple of weeks and the hairdressers have closed. All right. Okay. Stop. <laughs> right. Legs next. Are you watching? Are you having fun yet? <laughs> okay. Legs in. There you go. Feet. We'll sort the feet out as well. And then we'll put another one in. He's Yeah, there you go. He's got long legs. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, right. <laughs> Are you enjoying this as much as I am? Somebody said to me last week that they were really, really uh, grateful for the doodles. And I said to them, just so long as you understand that I'm going to get at least as much out of this as you are. And um, yeah, this is a fantastic way to start a Monday. I, I do like a laugh. And, I, and let's face it. You know, you either laugh or you cry, so we may as well go. Don't worry about your birds. Mine's got a fringe. <laughs> okay, so we've got the birds in place. And now, right, what we're going to do is, look, check it out. This is where we're going to put the branch in, and then we're going to put the trunk in. That's easy. 
So we'll come down. I'll put that there. So see, so what we're going to do is come down. Let's just start down here, right? And then we're just going to jiggle like a proper, it's like a proper tree trunk. And then when we get to there, we're going to come across because they need something to stand on. So you're going to go like that. And then up we go. And I'll, I'll probably leave a gap there because I think I'm going to put a branch in there. But I mean, it's only pencil, so it doesn't matter, does it? I can, there you go, boom. There's a branch. And then that's, so that's the tip there. And then we'll come back. And then when we get to there, let's just look. Go like that. Up. And then keep coming. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Because it makes it look more real. Well, real. Like, <laughs> he's real. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. Are we having fun yet? Are you doing? I hope you're doing this with me. I <laughs> really. I do hope you're enjoying this. Right, here we go. So now we're going to come up. Now, because we're getting nearer the trunk, I suppose we ought to make it a little bit fatter. Right, here we go. There you go, because it's getting near the trunk now. Right, down we go. How long do you want this tree? How tall do you want this tree to be? It's entirely up to you. Oh, well, that'll do. I can always extend it if I want to, can't I? So that I've got plenty of room for me flowers. You wait till you see what we're doing tomorrow. <laughs> The only thing I would suggest is that you definitely have a little practice with the, the Bradys. Right, where are we going next? How are you doing? Have you got your trunk in? Have you got your... Yeah? Okay, so now the next thing is let's put a little trunk through the back here behind the bird. A little branch, not a trunk. Right, there you go. So you put a bird. That looks a bit weird. But do you know what? It doesn't matter. Look, there's another one there. Right. And then here, we could put another one down. Look, so you, all you're doing is really putting... All these little branches are an opportunity to add a flower and a leaf. That's all this is. Look, we've put another little one in there like that. Right. Try and get a bit of balance. Wouldn't be bad having one up there. See? I'm not even looking at this. It's not important. Just keep your balance going. Mind you, it's, it's quite handy to have a little peep sheet. I have a, an advantage, believe it or not, over you because I know... <laughs> I've already done it once. Okay. So how are we doing? Good morning. I'll let you catch up. Where are we? Somebody's just heading for the door. It's not that bad, is it? My second attempt looks like a cat's had him for breakfast. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, you could. Should we do a little cat down here and then put a little speech for a lunch? <laughs> now, come on. We can do this, guys. So once we've got the branch in, then let's put the rest of the trunk down. So we'll go like that and we'll just come all the way down. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Quite a tall tree, this. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so now we've done that. We've got our birds in. I mean, what could be better than that? Right, so we've done that. So the next thing is we probably want to add a few little flowers. Now, let's just try a flower Let's try a flower that's different. So let me come to the bigger, let me come to the up tight, up close. So what we're going to do now, let me just show you over here. Instead of doing the flowers that we've been doing up until now, which have always been front on, let's do this. Again, you know like we made a D for the bird? So you made a D for the bird, didn't you? Like that. Bird, bird, look, expert now. <laughs> Hang on, give him a little fringe. Yeah, there you go. Right, so we've done a D for the bird. So in the same way, what we're going to do is we're going to make the same kind of thing, like a cup, like that. I mean, I'm doing this quite big to show you. Right, so you make a cup, and then in the middle, what you're going to do is you're going to come down like that with those two. Then you make a, this is like a lily, really, like a little water lily, like that. Piece of cake, this is. And then you do two, two little back ones. Like that. See, so they're behind. That's my theory anyway, and I'm sticking to it. And then if you feel, if you're feeling arty, you can always put a couple of little dots on there and then put a little dot there and there's your flower. So let me just show you a simple, simple little doodle. Let me see where I, where is he? Well, hey, there. See? So you're going to make the cup. Then you're going to come into the centre. Piece of cake, like a little crown really, isn't it? Look, see his little fringe. <laughs> I reckon you could put a little hat on him if you were really getting bored. Look, hang on a minute. Put a little hat on. 
Don't know about that. <laughs> what about a little top hat? There you go. Bingo. I really need to concentrate on what we're doing, don't I? <laughs> okay, so back here. So what we're going to do now is fill this. This is where we go into our Zen uh, time, right? We're going to fill this with, um, with leaves. So we'll put a leaf. We'll do those leaves like that. Let's put a leaf at each end just to get us in the zone, right? Let's assume that we're going to put a leaf on each end like that. And then we know what we're working towards. Yeah, or two leaves if you feel inclined. Right, and now we're going to get into a, doodle, a doodleology, right? So leaves, don't forget, you can turn your, you can always turn your artwork so that it's easier for you, yeah? Are you all right doing this in pencil? I mean, if you're brave, if you feel, if you feel confident enough to go straight to pen, a black pen, then by all means. But for me, Monday morning, a couple of new things going on. I really thought I'd do it in, in pencil first, then I can change it a little bit. Because I still get the benefits of doodling, whether I'm using a pencil or a, or a pen, don't I? Right, here we go. So there's my first flower. And then I'm going to go in like that. And there's my... Take your time now. This is where we... We really can take our time. So we're going to use our, right, flowers like that. So now it's time to chill and just get in the zone. Right, here we go. So they're like little lilies, really. So if you're just joining us, the lesson today or the doodle session that we're, we're doing today is about um, birds from the side and flowers from the side. So for example, here, right, there's a, a flower. Looks like a pair of leaves. Then we're going to come up in the middle. Then we're going to put two little tiny ones like that. And then we can always dot them and then add them to the branch. See, they look lovely. You can do them in different angles. So this is like a, like a little cherry blossom, really, isn't it? Or a magnolia. Oh, I love magnolia. Don't you? What an exceptionally beautiful. They're all over the place at the moment down here in Kent. Absolutely glorious. This could be a magnolia branch. How are you doing? Is it working? I I have to admit I'm 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 more comfortable just today working in pencil and then come I'll come back over it and do that's easy then, isn't it? And it's not the perfectionist in me, it's that this is I want to get it right. So I guess that is the perfectionist in me. <laughs> but I'll tell you what I do know. Most of the Clarity family that are watching here, you're no different to me. You'll want to get it right too. And so, yeah. So let's just relax and enjoy this, hey? How are you doing? So we've got some leaves. We've got these lovely, I mean, you can add the other flowers as well. You know, the ones that we did, like the Mary Quanti ones, the Daisy ones, we can do them as well. I just thought we want to add some little doodle tricks to our, to our toolbox, don't we? So every, every day we do something a bit different, don't we? And then, and then you can bring, you can bring, what you've learned from last week into play. I need to, how are we doing? I need to sharpen my pencil. That one's a bit ropey. Let's have a go. Yeah, my pencil's getting a bit blunt. How are you? Don't break on me now. Oh, you did as well. That's, never mind. Can I just, have, while I'm repairing my pencil, it's working. Barbara, 
good. There you go. I think I'll be using pencil. <laughs> yeah, precisely. I think so too. You know, it's all right. This is about relaxing. This is about enjoying, right? And, and black pen's quite permanent. So I, I just feel if it works for me, it works for you. So why put ourselves under that duress? We can go back over it with that once we're happy with that. Please, Kate, really. I'm telling you, Pic what's his name? Michelangelo Picasso. Picasso, I think he did actually go straight. I bet even Picasso did a little pencil sketch before he started slapping the paint on, don't you reckon? I'm, I'm pretty sure. And so let's keep going. Are you enjoying this yet? Right, here we go. So we've got our lovely, our lovely flowers. Um, now, another thing that I wanted to do, see here, let's have a look at my, let's have a look at my trunk, the trunk. And what you'll see is where you've doodled, right, you will automatically have made a look. See how that there just comes out. So what I'm doing is I'm just going, there's no, no logical, look, I'm just going to go like that and then go to there. And then I can come through here like so. Do you see what I'm doing? What do I think? I've done that one then. And then I think this one, I think I'll go up there as well. Because it's, it's, it, it looks to me like that's where it's supposed to go. And then this one, I reckon that will go to there. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm just looking. That'll do. A bit different. Right. All righty. And then we're going to cut that off there like so. And then you can see, so it's just adding interest, isn't it, to the trunk? Yeah? And what we want to do now is what we learned. Well, now, we did this, didn't we, uh, last week? So you could, if you, were feel, if you felt up for it, you could do this in pen. But I'm going to stick to pencil today. Right. And then you go tight there. And then as you get further to the front of the tree, you go larger. And then as you get round to the... See, to make it look uh, um, dimensional. There. See, so it's, it looks more round now, doesn't it? It's just an optical illusion. Right, again, let's do this. So it's real tight there. Like that. I'm glad I sharpened the pencil. Right, and then as you get to the centre of the tree, bigger. And then as you get, oh, that started a little bit premature there on the, on the downhill. But there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really enjoying myself here on my own, on my jack in the shack. How about you? So good of you to join me. There you go. And now we're going to come in again, tighten. Cool, huh? So you do every other one. This will work well. Right, so this is tight, tight. Makes it look darker, and then as we come in, see if you slow down, you've got more control. There you go, that'll do. Nice, nice, as Grace says, nice. All right, see, so I've done that, and then what we can also do just another little trick look, just little doodles, they're all just doodles, like Morse code dot dash, dot dash, dot dash. Can you see that? Hang on, let's come into the camera. So you're just going to dot, dash, dash, dot, dash, dot, it's that Morse. Just adds a little bit of something. And apart from anything else, it calms you right down. It's crazy how this slows you down. Just dashes and dots, isn't it? Dash, dot. There you go. There you are. Now what I want to do is, because it's just sort of floating around, so what we want to do now is just add a base. So do you remember what we did last week when we, we did a, let's just do a little base like that. There you go. Okay. And then um, 
what we need is because it's only a single line let's let's do a bit more i don't need to overlap it until there you go that'll do and then what i'll do is i'll start over here and then i'll come in and exactly the same as we did see i can change the angle there you go and as i change the angle it changes where the the shadow is can you see this that one's a bit weird but the good news is I did it in pencil, so if I don't like it, I can rub it out and go again. But I'm still getting the, the benefits, aren't I, of the doodle session. Right, here we go. If you, if you, um, if you do do Facebook, have a look at Clarity Worldwide. That's where, where everybody seems to be posting their artwork. There's a real smashing little community there. Um, but do do check out. And we've also we've started um, putting these up on Facebook, these these doodle sessions, because a lot of people don't do um, on YouTube. Sorry, because a lot of people don't do um, Facebook, which I understand. Having said that, though, the uh, Groovy Worldwide and the um, the Clarity Worldwide are pretty safe. We police them all the time. We're always looking out, making sure that everybody's comfortable and happy in there. Right, so let's have a look. We've done the birds. Let's have a look at the camera three, shall we? Check out where we are. So if we have a look here, hang on, let me just get my bearings. What am I doing? Oh yeah, of course. Sorry. Look, so we've got our little birds. We've got our little magnolia flowers we've done our branch we've done our trunk there we go look come down we've got our base now there's one more thing i want to show you how you doing this is all prep right this is us stretching exercises this is prep call my finger this is prep for tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to take these little birds and we're going to take all these little tricks and then we're going to apply them to something else. And um, yeah, it works for me and I think it works for you too. Uh, yeah, so Clarity, I don't, I don't think I want to sharpen it anymore. Clarity Worldwide and Groovy Worldwide, they're really great places to come. If you're feeling isolated in your isolation, you don't need to be. If you're watching this, that means that you've got access to the internet. That means that you can get into these groups. Um, there are loads of really lovely, lovely people there who will just reach out and welcome you. Um, you're not alone. You're not alone. Even it feels like you are. We have to, we're so lucky really. One, we're lucky because we're crafters so we know what's good for us. Mm -hmm. And two, we're also lucky because for years we've been building this clarity community, haven't we, online. And now, thank goodness, because we've already got our, our remote family, our reach out, our, our I, I'm, I'm feeling a bit vulnerable, help me, you know. And there are all these people just waiting to help and, and talk to you. So um, happy days, really. Given the circumstances, you know, you work with what you've got. And fortunately, we've got this amazing community, haven't we? <sighs> right. Flowers. These are really lovely flowers. And what I want to do is show them to you. There, look. These are nice flowers. Right, I just want to show you simple simple flowers now have a little look before we start because it's easy to break it down see the heart there's a sort of a round heart in the middle then there are two little hearts on either side and then there are hearts at the back right now compare that with what we just did it's pretty much the difference is on the little ones we did the outside first didn't we you see what i mean we did the outside first and then we pop the little one in the, the little gizmo in this thing. So let's try this one now. And then we've got another smashing flower. So let's look at the flower here, for example. Now this was the one we did. Let me just repeat what we did. So this was the little magnolia in the tree. So we did a cup, 
then we went down and then we went down, then we went back up again like that, right? So you got like that and then we went in there and then we did little dots on the top. Right, so that was how we did the ones in the tree. Now, this one is a little bit different. This is a little bit different. So what we're going to do now, let's try it over here so you see. We're going to start with the one in the middle and we're going to make it like a kind of a, it's like a heart really, like that. If you can imagine it's a heart, right? So you're going to do a heart like that. Then we're going to, in here, we're going to go round and we're going to make a, a weird little heart like so, like that. And then we're going to go from here and we're going to jump across. So you go like that and you jump across. See? And then you can flick the stamen like that and put a dot on the bottom and that's it. Look, it's really easy when you work it out like here. So you do your heart at the front, then you do this little sort of hearts on the side and then you join them up like that. Isn't that pretty? Right, so we're going to do a couple of them. We'll do one here. Right, let's just try this. We're going to need this tomorrow when we're going to, we'll give it another go. But you've got all day to practice. Right, so we're going to do a heart in the centre, like that. Like that. Okay. Let me see if the overhead's better. Yeah, maybe the overhead's better. So you go like that. Then you're going to do a heart on the side, like that. like that, and then you're going to jump across, see, like that, that looks a bit weird, but it's alright, there are going to be loads of them, and then we'll put the stamen in, and then a dot, right, there's my first one, sometimes better, sometimes, practice makes perfect and all that, right, put a couple of dots in, okay, let's try another one, Let's put another one here. Right, you ready? So again, we're going to, let's make a, a heart, like a, a gentle heart, like that. Like that. Gentle heart. And then we're going to make a, a heart on its side, like that. And then a heart on its side, like that. And then we're going to join the hearts up. Look, like that. Just with a little wiggle. There you go. It's better over there. <laughs> do you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to do this until I crack it. And therein lies the doodle. You see, you just keep going until you're happy. Right, that'll do though. Down we go. And then down we go with that one. And then, do you remember the leaves where we went like that? And then we came back round like that. Let's start up here. Do a bit taller. And you're going to lean over like that. Should we do another one here? Look. Oh, I don't know about that. Good job I'm working with pencil. Now that looks stupid. But it will look all right by the time I've done the shadow on it. It's just a twisted look. If you can, let me see if I can show you. If that's the, if that's like that, right? And then it's twisted and then it's come back round this side again. So that and that the same side and then it it twisted round and it went to the back so so this ended up being like the the leaf and if you don't like it you just got to go again and therein lies the magic of the rubber see don't like that one not happy with that scrap that because in a minute when i go back over it with a with a pen right so this time i'm going to go up like that and like that that's better so now, oh yeah, see, so now that looks like a prop, so that's underneath now, do you see? And then it flicks up like so, this comes over the top, so if I wanted to I could put a little vein in there. There, you see, so that's there, and then this goes, and then it twists, doesn't it? Yes. How are we doing? How are we doing? How did your... How did your side flowers go with the heart? The heart, two side hearts, 
hearts at the back. There you go. And then when we've done all this, then you get your toolbox out from last week and we add our little berries. Do you remember? And we can add our cherries and our berries and we can, if we want to, we can we can doodle into the into the leaves and we can get the detail on the leaves. We can add loads more flowers to that and make it look much brighter. Do you remember the lovely dots? Do you remember the dots? That makes a difference, doesn't it? Just dots everywhere. It just makes it look so pretty, doesn't it? So there you go. How'd you get on? How'd you get on? Have you enjoyed yourselves? What are we saying? Bit ropey at the moment. <laughs> Wendy Thorburn, a bit ropey. I love you, Wendy. Right. So now we've got our pencil work, haven't we? All right. We've had a jolly good doodle session, I would say. And, uh, and I want you to, when we finish for the day, in a minute, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wind it down. And then do you know what I'm going to do? Go and put the kettle on get myself another cup of tea. Then I'm going to make sure that I'm really happy with everything. Then I'm going in with my number one micron pen. Actually, I've also got an 005, you know those sets of micron pens that all of you have been, you, so many of you have been ordering. Well, there's a finer one. And so when you go into the tiny little detail, this is not Selly Telly, this is not Selly Telly at all. I'm just saying that the 005 micron pen in the set is even smaller than the number one. And then, of course, it goes two, three and so on. So um, so then you can go back over your work. Then you can get your pencil out and do a little bit of shading. But rub out your sketch work before you start the shading. Do you remember when we did the happy on Friday? We had to do all our black work before we could rub out the letters, couldn't we? Didn't we? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. You've got. 24 hours to practice and then tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock we'll go again and we'll take what we've learned and then we'll apply a few other little tricks and we'll make another lovely a lovely picture and we'll have a great doodle session and then we're gonna stretch how's your neck stretch oh that's better doesn't that feel good what a great way to start the week. So thank you very, very much for joining me. And uh, yeah, thank you very, very much for joining me and giving me a reason to get up every day. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye now.